It's no good. I still don't understand the scoring. Four jump for each team, but in the final analysis, you can drop your worst score because only your best three need count. We're in second place behind the French with 32 faults. All this is purely academic, Popper, because Jippo will make a Horlicks. Which means we drop his score. And still be in second place. Oh, why can't I be there? Why do I have to be ill now? The doctor said no excitement. Oh, ha, ha. to see his big grey Murphy in action. Coming to the first, good luck. God almighty. What's this horse's name? Pegasus, bloody hell. Forget about the name, it's all in the breeding. Nobody ever listens to me. He hasn't even touched anything. That is a fantastic horse. Jake Lovell making a spectacular first appearance for the British team with a clear round. The order you'll jump in is, as you well know, the same order as this morning. Lavinia, Humpty, Rupert, and finally Jake. Now, to stay ahead and to win, we need at least one more clear round, if not two. We have the French and the Germans to contend with. And in order to give Rupert and Jake a chance, you two mustn't have more than 12 faults maximum. And you two can stop playing Ben-Hur and go and warm up your horses. Bloody horse. And he expects that horse to jump for him after that. Come on. What he didn't Damn expect was having to play bastard. second fiddle to the reserve. Come on! Le candidat suivant, Rupert Campbell Blank, pour la Grande Bretagne sur McCauley. Next, Rupert Campbell Blank for Great Britain on McCauley. Trouble. All is boiled over, and so is your hubby. He's over the first. Out of control and on the wrong line. But he's only taken the wrong stupid course. Gran? I bet the silly fool never even walked it. It's all going to be all down to Jake, then. You didn't give him a chance. You didn't have him right at anything. God, how I hate backseat drivers. He should have been clear. He should be in a tin. Sorry. Oh. Bloody hell, that's torn it, and his level's gonna have to go clear. Well, he was clear in the first round. Well, no one's had two clear rounds. I can't actually watch this. Tori? Just leave her alone. Trouble. 
He's only got the treble. I'm so glad we decided to stay over. I thought tomorrow we would go to the Louvre, and then to Versailles, perhaps, yeah, and then Fine. To... Just make sure you don't mention it to a soul. I mean, no one, savvy? Well, I'll fly back first thing tomorrow, try him out. Right, bye-bye. Tomorrow? Rupert, I, I thought we weren't due to fly back until Monday. Oh, I have to see this horse. You're going to interrupt our honeymoon to see a horse. Not just any horse. Probably the best novice in England. Hmm. Okay, so fly back on Monday. When we said we were going to fly back. All right. Saturday. You can stay until Saturday morning. I won't settle for anything less than Sunday night. Oh, very well. But only because you have such a fantastic body. Saturday night it is. Sunday. Or else. You know, I might just try or else. <laughs> How did you find out about this horse? It doesn't matter, Mummy, because we can't afford him. How much is, um, can't afford? Bernard, darling. No, no, Molly. Not a fool. Top horses are a gilt-edged investment. <laughs> well, he's not a top horse yet, Bernard. He's, uh, he's, he's practically a novice. If he's a top novice, according to you, how much are they asking? I don't know. I reckon I could get him for about 18 and a half. And what would he be worth if you brought him up to, um international level. Well, you could name your price. I don't know, about 100,000? Maybe more. screwed up. The vendor was on the phone all weekend asking if I thought you were serious. So you keep saying. Well, it wasn't my fault. Helen insisted we stay on. So you keep saying. Jake, is that Rupert's car? <laughs> Let's just hope to God no one else has got to hear about it. You know, horse dealers, the bastards will sell you their mothers. Well, at least we'll know whose fault it is if we missed the boat, won't we? <laughs> 